earlier video we have uh, analyzed the video now I'm going to show you how you can do a modeling with a uh, tracker open up the tracker software by double clicking on the tracker.jar file go to file open up the previously saved file for my case it will be the .trk extension after the video has been loaded you can see this is the previous video where I showed how you can do a video analysis by going to the analyze now we're going to go to video modeling go to track select a new dynamic particle this is the not the correct uh, model so I'm just going to delete it go to track new dynamic particle model Cartesian and you can see that this model has the force function initial values so previously our force in the x-direction was zero our initial velocity in the x-direction I'm going to retrieve the previously recorded file and you can see that uh, x equal to 1.772 times t so the initial velocity in the x direction is 1.772 just going to select it and go to the tracker software and paste it over the vx and you can see dynamically that the model allows you to see how that particular model will behave as shown by the purple graph previously we also know that the initial y velocity so I'm going to model select the vy as 2.436 and you can see now how the new model behaves so you can see through this process it is possible for the student to gradually see how the, each individual variable can change the behavior of the model that he is hypothesizing now I'm going to go to model and continue to enhance the model that the students can use let's say for example I key in the acceleration as 10.414 and you can see that the particle goes parabolically upwards which is wrong so we need to add the negative sign and once you get the negative sign assuming that the mass is 1 you can see that now the particle model and the actual video analysis model appears to coincide pretty well